Hi, um, my name is Milan from Milan's Motorcycles and um, today I would like to um, tell you a little more about the uh, XA, uh, 1942 XA. We talked about it last time but today we're going to look a little bit more on the technical end of it. Um, this actually motorcycle, it's a project uh, uh, what's going to be for sale. Um, so I just want to talk about some of the things about it to uh, tell you a little more um, uh, for educational purposes. So as we can see that um, the headlight, what's on it, uh, it is not original, it is a newly made reproduction with the original blackout headlight, blackout uh, light on it and um, five and three quarter inch sealed beam. That's the first time the motor company ever used a sealed beam five and three quarters of inch on the XA 1942. Uh, on the right side of the motorcycle, we can see the uh, holder for the scabbard for the Thompson machine gun. Um, we see the WLA style fender, which it's a little bit long, a little bit shorter on the bottom. The WLA was uh, quite longer. Uh, we have uh, gas tanks, both sides are fuel. Uh, they are both a little over two gallons uh, each side. Now when we look on the engine, it's an opposed twin, um, it's a boxer style engine, we talk about it, how it was copied after BMW, and uh, the bore of the cylinders, it's 3 and 1 16 with the stroke it's also 3 and 1 16 Now the carburetors are Linkert, made by company Linkert, it's a M17R, uh, that's this one, an M17L on the other side. Now. Um, many people think that all the carburetors were same like uh, M4s or M11s. They are different. The casting of the carburetor is different. Uh, the Venturi also, it's not the same. It's not 7 8s as on other models, but this one it's 13 16. We always have to remember that on the 45s, for example, on Servi cars, um, one carburetor was feeding both cylinders. On this motorcycle, it's the first time when Harley Davidson used actually from the factory uh, on, a, on a standard production motorcycle or an army motorcycle dual carburetor. One on right side, one on left side. Now when we look on the engine, the capacity of the engine uh, for the oil, it's uh, two liters, not about two liters, two quarts. Two US quarts. Uh, the transmission, it is a four speed and it is... Um, it is also almost two quarts of oil. It's a separate oil in the engine, separate oil in the transmission. Now this is the uh, one of the first motorcycles also where they put the engine on the transmission. It's bolted together. Now the frame, it doesn't have uh, many forgings on. We do have a little bit on the back here and a little bit for the mounting uh, of the engine on the bottom. But uh, otherwise everything is welded from the steel tubing. It's not being braced, it's welded together, which was also a new thing uh, what Harley Davidson used. Of course the drive shaft, we looked at that previously, that's something very unique. They only used it on XA model and I believe on TA model, which was a absolutely also experimental army uh, motorcycle, uh, which they only made handful of, not even. Now the size of the wheels, this one has a 16 inch wheel on the front, 18 on the back, and normally they came with 18 inch wheels uh, or the disc wheels, what are uh, 15 inch. The difference between the standard uh, 45 uh, between engine and the XA engine that they say um, the temperature of the oil dropped by the better cooling of the cylinder sticking on either side getting better better uh, better flow of uh, cold air or cooler air it dropped the temperature almost 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Now um, another new thing what they used in 1942 on XA first time ever it's a spark plug. So, um, the different type of spark plug you can see the early version with 18 mil which it's uh, some bigger on the other side you see the the smaller one here which uh, which it's uh, 14 mil that was the first time that was ever used on Harley Davidson and of course with starting with Panhead and other models everything was switched over at later date to 14 millimeters. So another one of the unique things what uh, happened in 1942, Harley Davidson uh, implemented first time ever automatic centrifugal um, advanced distributor. Uh, so I will show you uh, close up. Uh, you can see inside how the springs, 
basically by uh, spinning it the weights open up and it shifts the timing shifts the advance so you don't have to no longer twist the grip back and forth when you started when you're riding it so that was another thing what was not implemented on other models until 1964. Another thing what was uh, implemented in 1942 on XA was the plunger style rear suspension. Harley Davidson never had that before and uh, 42 XA was the only one but then it didn't happen until 1956 when it was implemented on other models. So you can see that the motorcycle was itself quite a bit in the ways ahead of times of other models. Now larger capacity of body the model of the body used to be called H-4 and it's 45 amp body and um, that was implemented on Harley Davidson XA later on it was used on police motorcycles also uh, but 42 XA was the first one with a big big uh, body now when we look on the fuel system like I said two carburetors now these carburetors don't have all the correct parts, they're missing some shafts, some internal components, so the new buyer is going to have to find these parts and get it restored. Now when we're talking on the fuel system here, it was a Tillotson fuel strainer. Uh, this one has a glass bowl. The original ones were uh, brass. Uh, this one, like I said, it's glass. Well this one you can nicely see if there's a dirt, water and so on. I re really believe that the brass one was put on for a reason that if the soldier had to open it up and dropped it and broke it, then he wouldn't be able to ride a motorcycle. If you drop the brass one, you might have a couple kinks in it, but you can put it back in and you can ride a motorcycle again. So the gas tanks we talked about, uh, the capacity of both of them um, approximately just a little over four gallons, combination of both of them together. The gas caps are identical, left and right. There's no difference in them. They made by company Gates. They quite quite rare to find because, on the, for example, knuckleheads, 45s, different types of gas caps were used. But the XA had a specific XA gas cap. They did have a valves on the bottom. Both of them, as as you can see. Now sometimes uh, people think that the that the leg of the XA um, for the jiffy stand or side stand it's the same. Well actually the part number is different. There is few differences on it and one of them is that they did add actually uh, a sand pad. You can see that from years of service being in service it's completely worn out but on this other one you can see that, um, that uh, it's a brand new one and this is how it looked originally. Now when we go and look uh, uh, back on the front end uh, we see the Springer front end. We talked about it in the last video. This is a heavy duty Springer front end because it has a one inch stem and it's two inches over. Two inches over because they needed to lift up the motorcycle to get, they get the proper ground clearance. I believe that the XA originally with the new springs in it was approximately six inches ground clearance from the bottom of the skid plate uh, to the ground which was quite high comparing to other models. And now we're looking, we, uh, we talked about the scabbard bracket where the little, little pouch goes in it with the Thompson machine gun. And of course on the left side, I mean some said that the blackout kit was put in or spare tools or ammo. We usually call them ammo boxes and this is one of them. It's, it's, it's on the motorcycle and you can see how it looks like right here. Now a couple more uh, technical um, sort of specs. Uh, the compression ratio of stock engine on XA was uh, 5.7 to 1. So that was the compression ratio. Now the top speed of the motorcycle uh, listed in uh, factory publications uh, it's 105 kilometers an hour or 65 miles an hour. 65 miles or 105 kilometers whichever way you look at it. And the price of the motorcycle believe it or not in them days was quite high. It was 858.68 uh, US dollars that was 858.68 cents US dollars it was quite a bit more than the WLA model uh, in them days as you can see uh, the motorcycle has a license plate it's a motorcycle license plate this motorcycle is actually uh, fully licensed it is not running so I would like to thank you for uh, watching this video today um, it was a little bit of educational a little bit of technical um, we just want to bring awareness that uh, in 1942 Harley Davidson built very rare and unique motorcycle. I would like to thank you not only for watching but if you have any questions 
Uh, please, uh, you can co contact us on our website www.milansmotorcycles.com and we will see you in another video next time. Ciao!